What's up muscle car people? This is Bringing Muscle Cars and I'm Matt. Today we're going to talk about visors for the race equipped helmet. So everybody knows the visor that comes with it is clear. Clear is okay. I mean, you can see well out of it. It looks good. But does it look as cool as a dark tinted one? Come on now. Everybody watch Top Gear. Right? Everybody thinks about being a stick. Man, I can drive like a stick. So they get the tinted one, which I got the tinted one and I'll put the part number for the tinted one down below. It looks really cool. Can't deny that. And if you're road racing, I guess, or I guess really just autocross, if you autocross, the visor is great because you don't need to see any of your gauges for the most part. You don't need to shift. You don't need to do any of that stuff because most of the time when you're in the car and you have this on you can't see anything it is just too dark to see anything so let's see what it looks like through the camera with the tinted visor so that's what it looks like through the tinted visor and then here's what it looks like without it so we're looking at the car and with it up it does cut a lot a lot of the glare out but you can see just how dark it actually is. So you're probably like, Matt, I want to have a tinted visor and I want to look cool. What should I do? And what I did was I ordered a new visor. Let's take a look at it. So I ordered the new visor. It is called Blue Iridium. I don't know. I'll put the, the name of it down below in the part number. So this is what I got to replace this. And you can see it's a bit more mirrored. And it looks cool. I like it. It looks purplish from certain angles, but then just lightly smoked from other angles and then blue from other angles. So let's put it on and we'll see the big difference between the two of them. All right, guys, I'm back. It took about five minutes to change the visor. They're quick and easy, just four nuts on the side. Let me see how it looks. So my impression is it does, it is tinted, but it's much easier to see out. My first impressions of it, haven't used it at the track yet, is that it's gonna be much easier to see out of. I think I'm still going to be able to see all the gauges. You could at least clean it. I'm going to. So, <laughs> I don't think they can see the dirt in the video. Oh, so, it's bad. I know, it's real dusty, right? Yeah. I, I guess it happens when it sits for a year. Yeah, pretty much. It probably, it went to them dusty, you know? Because it sat for a year before that. Yeah. So, let's see how it looks through the camera. So that is with the visor down. Visor up. You can definitely see that it's tinted, but it's definitely not as dark as the dark tinted visor. All right guys, so this is my quick little review comparing the blue Arid Iridium visor. I can't say that very well, don't laugh. You can make comments in the below, I don't care. And versus the tinted one. I'll have the part numbers down below said that about six times already and let me know what visor you use did you use the clear if you use one of these which one do you think is uh beneficial for drag racing thanks a lot guys if you like this video hit that like button hit that subscribe button smash that notification bell because you don't want to miss any of the awesome content that's coming up with the misses so if you're like us and you got a fast car remember you better bring it
Thanks for watching.